So let's talk about this. This is merely a pointer that points to the current object. Let me demonstrate. Public um, void print this pointer. And since it's uh, not going to modify anything, I'll actually be const correct there, even though probably for a video I don't need to be. Let me just see out this in line. Notice nice and blue keyword. All right, and then uh, down here, let's make a cow Betsy. She's on the stack. And I'm going to see out the address of Betsy. Bet C end line. And I'm going to say, hey, Betsy, will you print your this pointer? Okay, so let's just build that, run that. And we, you can see here that the addresses are identical. So, so regardless of how I get the address of the cow, I... Uh, it, there's just a number. It's just a pointer. It's a, it's a number that is an address out in RAM. At the address 001BF8CF, and again, this is a hexadecimal number, but hopefully by now hex and binary and decimal, it's all numbers. It's the same thing. Um, it's just an address at, at, to the object, regardless of how I get to it. it. Very often, though, inside of our classes, we need to be able to access or get the address of ourselves and the way we get the address of ourselves is via the this pointer now if I make another cow here let's say cow Georgie this is this is uh, this can the word the keyword this the concept of this can really trip up some some new programmers I think when they say this it's like what does it mean this object I remember when I was learning about the this keyword it seems like the, the teacher would always say it's this object which I think is kind of a bad way of doing it because it's not this object what I'm highlighting here is not an object. What I'm highlighting here is a class. All right. If I want an object, I need to instantiate one, like I did down here, or with Georgie. Okay. So if I see out the address of Georgie, hopefully the address of Georgie will be close to, but not identical to the address of Betsy. They're both on the stack here. And then if I say, um, "Hey Georgie, print your this pointer," well, the address that should be displayed to the console. Um, should be the same as if I took the address externally out here. Okay, so let me close this one. Let's uh, build this, run this. And we see that the address of Betsy is 03, well this time 0030FC17. And then Georgie, he's not too far away, but he's different than Betsy. It's 0030FC0B. And let's, let's make yet another cow. I can make a cow pointer uh, Bobby. And Bobby's going to point to a new cow out on the heap. All right, Georgie and Betsy have placed on the stack here. All right, new. What new does? You need to go watch the new videos if if you if you're not quite sure. New does a bunch of things. It goes and gets the RAM for a cow, and then it calls the cow constructor, and then it returns the address of that RAM. So then I can store that address in Bobby here. So then let's uh, see out uh, Bobby. Bobby's just a pointer in line. A pointer just as much as Bobby's this pointer is. And then um, let's say, hey, Bobby, print this pointer. Okay, so let's build that, execute that. You see, uh, Betsy's here, Georgie's here, Bobby's here. Okay, now something else I remember tripping me up. Actually, just to be good here, I'm going to delete Bobby. I should delete Bobby. All right, um, something else I remember tripping me up with at this pointer is it seemed like, to me, in order to have a pointer to something, it had to be on the heap. Well, no. Objects don't need to be on the heap. Whether they're on the heap or in the program image or on the stack, objects just take up memory. It doesn't matter where you put it. It's just if we want to put it on the heap, we have to use new. Um, but other than that, uh, objects take up memory. They have an address. You can an actual location. Just like you and I have an address out in, out in uh, whatever country you live in. I could look at your address and go there, and, and I could find you. Same thing right with these, these pointers and these addresses. Um, something... Uh, a lot of new programmers will use this arrow, especially like in constructors. Like say we had, I don't know, cow int max heartbeats. Okay, say so we're going to take that in the constructor, and um, this is we're going to store it internally. Well, now we have two variables named identical, so this is a good way of differentiating between the two. I can say max heartbeats gets max heartbeats. That that kind of makes sense because when I just say max heartbeats, the scope of that, the compiler says, well, I need to find a name called max heartbeats. So it looks at the most, the closest scope here and finds 
max heartbeats. So when I say max heartbeats, that's going to resolve to this 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 parameter here, this this closest in scope, minimal scope. But then when I am explicit and I say this object uh, at that address inside that RAM, go to what max heartbeats man means for that that uh, that instance right there. Okay, so that that. This this is an appropriate use of of this, but something I'll see a, some programmers do, which I don't know, kind of bugs me, is they'll say like max beats, and then um, we'll say max beats here. Well, there's no need now since the variable names are are differentiated. It's a, it's slightly am, ambiguous and confusing. I wouldn't uh, encourage you to to code like this, but but it's it diff. There's no need to say this here anymore because the the variable names are different. So so very often, not, not very often, but sometimes I'll see programmers use this all the time. You know, this this this, and I think that's 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 a that's a waste of my bandwidth, my brain bandwidth to have to read this arrow, this arrow. It's just I think it's clutter. But that's that's my personal religion. You may find you have your own religion. Another trick. Let me see if I can come up with a good. Nah, this will still be contrived. Sorry for all the contrived examples, but I'm just going to um, say we have a, a, a function that needs to return an object, and uh, I'll just to show that this is contrived. But it's not too contrived. It's, there's times there's times when I need to do this. Like in uh, in my uh, vector class, I noticed I was doing some things that I had to pass the object around, and so so if I'm doing if I want to pass a copy of myself because I'm going to return via copy here I'm not returning a cow reference or a cow pointer um, I can return star this okay and remember this just points to this uh, the current instance and I can dereference that and then the copy constructor will will invoke because I'm returning by copy here but anyway dereferencing at this point that's not too uncommon to do Anyway, it's this. It's it's this object. I'm not going to highlight the cow class because it's not the class. It's that instance of an object, and I can have several instances of that object.